and welcome to MG Tracy. Now if you've got a Tasimo coffee machine, this video is for you. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make the perfect Costa cappuccino. Yeah, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make the perfect Costa cappuccino at home to impress your guests. I'm using a Tasimo My Way 2. Um, it has some extra functions on it over some of the cheaper Tasimos. But whichever one you've got, it's the same principle because the barcodes on the T-discs are going to set the machine up for you. So if you've not used it for a while, dig out your cleaning disc. Just give that a quick run through uh, to give any, just give the machine a quick clean. Make sure, make sure here that your glass is clear as well. It's not going to work very well. Um, just top this up with fresh tap water. If that's been in the tank for a day, empty it and refill it with fresh water. Make sure you have docked your tank correctly. The most common problem people have with Tasimo's, all sorts of odd effects, they haven't docked the tank. If you're having any problems, make sure you've docked the tank correctly. So, here we go, we're into Costa Cappuccino. So, in the pack you will find two boxes. Uh, you need to do milk or cream first, and it's white there, and it will say shake, and it will say me first, and that's important. You need to make sure you do this first. So, give it a good shake, drop it in, push this down. It should be firm. If you get any resistance, then something's not lined up. Don't keep pushing because you'll break the machine. There we go. And then on the front here, we've got our teardrop that you have on all of them. Now the teardrop is start. It also, if you've not got enough liquid, you can hold it and it'll put more liquid in. If it's going to overflow, you can tap it and it will stop the machine. So let's put that milk in first. Now what the machine's going to do now, it's going to build up some bar pressure. It's not like a Keurig machine that is just dripping hot water through. This is doing it like it would be done in your Starbucks or Costa. Under a fair bit of pressure, that hot water is going into this milk concentrate, cream concentrate. And in the second tea disc, it's going over the uh, ground coffee that's already in that pack. That's not really quite enough for this one, so I'm going to put a bit more there. Now you can add these bits in, but if you run it for too long, the water will go clear. And all you're doing is watering down your coffee, so you want to not, not want to hold it for too long, but that should be enough there. Next important thing, do not lift that up until your Tasimo has stopped flashing. It's under pressure. Pulling that up before the system has had a chance to depressurize damages it. It'll knack your warranty as well. So wait till you get a clear T, wait till you get a clear solid light here. Uh, you've got the teardrop on this one, some of the others it's just a light. So when it stops flashing, it's okay. The machine has depressurized itself and it's ready for you to put the next tea disc in. It's nearly there, there we are. Now that's quite safe. You shouldn't get any <laughs> If you're doing that, not getting that sound, you're doing it wrong. Now these can be recycled. Um, use, if you just Google pod back, you'll be able to find a free service that will send you out a returns envelope and then you can put all your tea discs in there and you can post them back free of charge so that you're not contributing to landfill. Right, we're now putting the coffee in. Now this one, I'm going to select three beans because on the My Way 2 you've got some other options. If you're on a smaller machine, just get cracking and push it and the barcode will do it all for you. And now we're building up that bar pressure again. This is hot water under pressure going over those wonderful Costa coffee beans that have been roasted and then dolloping it into your glass. Now we should end up with some froth on the top, milk on the bottom. Again, it's not a drip system like Keurig, so there will be a little bit of work before it happens. It won't just suddenly uh, start away. And there we are, and they've got that fantastic smell of Costa. It's just like being in a coffee shop. Again, I'm gonna have to put a little bit more in there. Depends obviously on your size of your cup and how strong you like your coffee. Now that's a nice way to serve that. 
you might want to give it a little bit of a swirl there at the bottom. Mixing that on the bottom there, you see, lovely. Now I have some Cadbury's chocolate powder here that I just tend to put a little bit over the top for my cappuccino for that extra great taste. And the other thing, if you want to put that into a more festive -y sort of cup and saucer, then I tend to add one of these, a tiny little cracker that you can find on Amazon. And then you've got, again, a wonderful coffee, a wonderful way to serve a cappuccino there over the festive period. This is okay now, so we can lift that one out. Don't leave those tea bits in when you're not using the machine. And that is all there is to making a fantastic Costa cappuccino. If you have any questions, put them in the box below and I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. Please like, share and subscribe. Come back every day for a bit more fun here on MG Tracy. This is Paul from London saying, I'll see you in the next video. Cheerio!